let them in the soccer whether they'll give you my trust. <laughs> These are things we must. And we must do it and say, this is who we are. Because that's what makes us. Nobody said you must be anything. No. We have had leaders all over the world if you didn't go to school. Just say, this is who I am. These are my parents. These are my children. <laughs> You know? so, just for people, that is Peter will be talking about how a president should behave and should be responsible. You know, since when the tribunal has declared um, Bola Metunubu as the president of Nigeria, um, Peter will be has not said a single word about it. But now, the, he, he, he said in Princeton University that a president must be, must be responsible to his people. You know, I've been looking at it and been seeing everything that, that has been happening in Nigeria and I saw that the aims and objective of APC is nothing related, is nothing related to Nigerian people. All what they want is just for themselves. And Peter Abe has affirmed it in this video that I'm about to show you. And he said a lot of things about APC. He said he, he really, really disgraced them in this video. And people will just stay connected at the very end of this video. And I'm going to show you exactly what Peter Obi said in the beginning of this video and everything every single thing every single word and what is happening in nigeria thank you just stay connected at the very end of this video i'll be back see you soon it's happening in the street again the center of political news celebrity gossip religious gossip and happiness in the society join us the voice of Africa. Hello, my great and wonderful viewers. Welcome back to Lightport TV show. If you are new to this show, don't forget to click the subscribe button, the like button, the bell beside it, and also drop your comment in the comment section about what is going on in Nigeria, about every single thing that is going on in Nigeria, so that YouTube will be notified anytime we drop any other video into this channel. Now, anyone who followed the 2023 presidential election campaigns well would know that Peter Obi delivered the best campaign in the history of Nigeria. The man did nothing but highlight the problems of Nigeria and the measures that must be taken to solve them. While other candidates kept on trying to attack his flawless personality, he stayed on the relevant issues. And it is funny because of all the candidates, he is the only one with impeccable character. Yet, the ones with dubious character and criminal records kept on trying to, 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 to fault the innocent Obi. But he never replied them. Instead, he stayed on the issues. He convinced most Nigerians and he got their votes. But speaking at Princeton University, USA, few hours ago, Peter Obi brought full-scale violence on his political opponents. And he specifically hammered on the crookedness of their characters and how it affects leadership in Nigeria and the whole of Africa. And his case study, of course, was Tinubu. But everything he said was true and he spoke with so much grace and class that the entire audience at the Princeton University clapped repeatedly. But before I show you that powerful video from Peter Obi, let me quickly show you this very shocking video that depicts the failure of the Nigerian system. And occurrences like the one I'm about to show you now is one of the reasons people like us will continue to speak against bad leadership. Look at this lady late greatness or Lauren Femi. Yes, that's her picture. Let me show you the role that bad leadership, bad governance played in her demise. See the video. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's your brother Wes Robinson reporting for CNN News. What's up? Uh, this lady was just pushed down from a vehicle between uh, Metama and uh, Kuba Express. The road going towards uh, Use Vega. She was pushed down by all this uh, one chance. And this is what we've been talking about. Please let's be careful. She was pushed down from one chance vehicle. Uh, you can hear me. I'm reporting live on CNN News headquarters here in Abuja, Nigeria. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is your brother reporting for CNN News Network. Uh, we are just in uh, Metama General Hospital. Fortunately, we called one of the uh, nurses we just met here. She said they cannot attend to her. They have their reason. Um, this is what we've been talking about for the past few weeks. How our hospitals are, are dying on daily basis. 
instead of them to quickly rush this woman and save her life, they are saying there are procedure and process, and they just lock their gates against us. This is what is happening here now in Usa General Hospital. Metama General. Hmm, you have seen it, and that was how they left the poor lady, goodness, Olorun Femi, to die. A vibrant, intelligent, and promising young lady. That's how she was described. And this is how many Nigerians lose their lives daily due to insecurity and the failure of the health sector. What a shame. What a pity. Goodness, Olorun Femi was lying there helpless. Her tribe and her religion could not save her. And that is why I keep preaching here that this thing is not about tribe and religion. The consequences of bad leadership are far-reaching. Whoever you are, wherever you come from, it can reach you. It behoves us, therefore, as common men and as citizens to set aside tribe, religion and all other categories of sentiments and stand against the common enemy. And what is the common enemy? It is corruption. It is those politicians that lack integrity that are pulling down this country. Only then can we get it right. Now, let me show you that powerful speech by His Excellency Peter Obi at Princeton University, USA. See the video. Good behavior. These are part of leadership. So you can be done. We have all the talents and everything all over the world. It's a question of the leadership has to show it. You have to start by saying, my name is Peter Obi. And from this time, I went to this primary school, this secondary school, this university. <laughs> When Chica was saying my CV, he said Harvard. I said, no, Chica, I did a program in Harvard. <laughs> I'm an alumnus of Oxford and Cambridge. He can go and verify it. Verify so, it. I don't need to, I, need, I don't need to put injunction for you not to see it. Go and tell them in the soccer whether they'll give you my transcript. <laughs> These are things we must. And we must straight and say, this is who we are. Because that's what makes us. Nobody said you must be anything. No. We have had leaders all over the world if you didn't go to school. Just say, this is who I am. These are my parents. These are my children. <laughs> you know? So, we will do that. That is it. You heard him. And everything P.O. said there is absolutely true. For good leadership, transparency is a non-negotiable ingredient. And that transparency starts from you, the leader. You can't be living a life of secrecy and you think you can command people to be transparent. It will not work. Everybody knows that one of the biggest, if not the biggest problems of Nigeria is corruption. It is because of corruption that the power sector is not working. It is corruption that has crippled the primary healthcare system. It is corruption that is making insecurity to linger on and in fact to continue to increase daily in Nigeria. But to fight this corruption, you need a man who is transparent. You cannot come up with a baggage of crime. You can't come up with unverifiable records and think that you can make things work in this country, Nigeria. It is not possible. Because they say, he who comes to equity must come with clean hands. Now, this one I just said is for someone like Atiku of PDP, who I believe has the desire to make things work, but does not have clean hands. I'm not talking about APC members. Those ones don't even have desire to see things work. The way this country is now, the level of poverty, insecurity, hopelessness, and crying amongst the populace is exactly what APC members want. So, no be them and they even talk. Them, this is how they want the nation to be. That's why if you complain about the present state of Nigeria, APC supporters will say you are an enemy of Nigeria. Meaning they are very okay with the present state of the country. What a group of evil people. Now, in other news, Tinubu has come out to say that the strike that Nigeria Labour Congress, NLC, is planning to embark upon is an unlawful strike. Look at how the papers reported it. Tinubu's government warns NLC, TUC, against unlawful October 3rd strike.
President Bola Tinubu's government has won the Nigerian Labour Congress and the Trade Union Congress against embarking on a nationwide strike. The federal government called on the unions to shelve their proposed strike and refrain from actions capable of undermining the subsisting court orders. The government stated this in a letter signed by Minister of Justice Latif Fagbemi and addressed to Femi Falanon's law firm counsel to the labor unions. The attorney copied the labor minister, the chief of staff to the president, the national security advisor, the inspector general of police, and the SSS director general in the letter. The National Industrial Court had on June 5th restrained the NLC and TUC from embarking on any industrial action over the removal of fuel subsidy. So let us get this straight. The federal government went to the industrial court to obtain a court order to prevent labor, to prevent workers from demanding for their rights. Yes, that's what they did. And look at the people they copied in that letter. They copied Inspector General of Police, copied the DG of SSS. That is to tell you that if they go ahead with that strike, those are the people that are going to attack them. Hey, in a supposed democracy, and look at some of the tweet reactions. This tweet by Morayo says, I thought Tinubu said he would protect democracy, and that's why he is willing to go to war in Niger. Why he can't they practice dictatorship? I wonder how. And this tweet says, Unlawful. With this level of hardship in the country, I wonder, with all what people are going through, you still expect them to sit down and be moping. This is so, this is so sad. And this tweet says, I thought the same government said the president will speak to address the issue of plans to cushion the effect of his austerity measures on workers this week. They failed to say a word. Now they are talking nonsense. Tyranny is when a government exists only for itself, not for the citizens. Mm. And this tweet by T Master says, When will this whole Tinubu government be over? I am tired. <laughs> you don't tire. And this tweet says, We all shall see how a government that flaunts every court order that's been given in the last four months will point at the law in dealing with people. I won't see with my eyes. Mm. Anyway, make I leave I'm here. Thank you very much for watching to the end and have a great weekend. Thanks for staying connected to the very end of this video. You guys have seen exactly what APC are doing for this country. The health sector, the 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 the, the, the empowerment sector, the the lab, the labor, the workers of Nigeria are suffering day by day. A lot of people are dying. I I can see a friend of mine that went to an hospital. This guy he had an accident and he was almost at the edge of dying. And these people tell that this nurses the doctors they told him that we should wait till the next morning he should wait till the next morning and this guy died overnight because of uh, of infrastructures they said they, 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 there's not enough there are not enough um, um infrastructures there's not there's no blood enough for him to be trans to be transferred into his body i don't just i don't just understand where is nigeria going we, we know we come, we we obedient. We came out and we start shouting that um um, P, um Peter B is the rightful person for for Nigeria. APC is the wrong answer. Is the wrong answer for Nigeria. Since when the the tribunal has declared them as the uh, uh, has declared uh Bola Metunubu as the president of Nigeria? What has it done for the what has it done for the citizens? What has it done? See what see what is happening. Can 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 you hear what um Peter B said in this video? He said, if you want to come out and just say, say where you are from, say who you are. This is what they just come. What uh, uh, um, Balame Tunubu said in his campaign was, or, or what he said throughout his campaign was, he will continue from where uh, um, Buhari stopped. And surely he's, he's, he's doing it. Is is creating terror. Is creating you know dead a lot of people are dying day by day because of what uh um, Bala Metunubu is doing for this country and a lot of people are still coming out and supporting them a lot of people are still even, the, the, the tribunal i don't just understand i don't just understand after everything that we have seen the tribunal still declared them as they uh, declare him as the president of nigeria we, now we are now waiting for this for the supreme court to do the right thing uh, my people, I mean, I stay connected to the Lord's Party TV show. For any, for any news about the politics, about politics, about religious, and 
anything if you have not clicked the subscribe button click the subscribe button the like button the bell beside it and also drop your comment in the comment section see you in my next video god bless you thank you for staying connected and like what tv show leave the message up and leave let us know if help you so all we do on this channel is to bring to you the keyboard the main of god in america and outside america from the person of jimmy green and chris Mars, from the dancing of the block and camera and all of that so we'll deal you with some that you can wear and talk from them and also they are perfectly well. And guess what? Many of these products are really, really coming through. So just make sure you subscribe to this channel just to get more of the promises. Thank you, Asani. Guess what? See you in the next video.